<laughs> God damn kids putting their cards in the fridge again. Pokemon, why does Pokemon need to be cold? Where's my potato salad? <laughs> okay. So now all you got to do is survive getting back and you're good. Just remember how low of luck roll you had to make for everybody to get a pack of cards there, Pete, because uh, there will be the what the fuck's going on from that. Yeah. Just saying yeah. that Random likes me. <laughs> he likes you so much. He'd come over to his house. And, anyway, um, so moving on. Play violin with Martin and Random uh, Actually, yeah. I could see you guys jamming for a while. I, I, I meant to ask you about that in regards to electric violin, whether or not if I start it, well, it's going to be a bit harder to get hold of one now, but um, from my reading, it sounds like if you know violin, it wouldn't be too hard to use. So whether or not you'd start to scale off at half or something or what violin was or something like that for electric violin. I don't think electricity works here, though. No, no, no. I'm, Except for the fact that they, last time when I was here and Martin was here, he gave me electric violin to play. True. I can't <laughs> explain that either. Probably an unplugged <laughs> electric violin's my guess. I don't yes. know what's going on. No. But yes. I figure you they're know. kind of the same skill. It's kind of like a guitar and electric guitar. I'm not going to differentiate between yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming that that would be no. pretty much the same. And from what from my reading, I think they're. I mean, besides electric violins can have weird and wonderful shapes because you don't have to worry about the right the main thing. Yeah, you can make yours look like a giant pipe, and then be mm -hmm. sucking on a small violin just to throw off That's the audience. Right. <laughs> anyway, uh, of the PC guest room. So all you gotta do is survive getting home. I mean, you survive getting here because Glenn's an amazing fucking pilot. Pretty much. Yeah. Um. So, what's the easiest way to get back to the regular? Less real world. Walk, get to our craft, and then go back that way. But our craft is not flyable, so it's going to be a lot harder. Let's go back, and then shadow walk. Well, we need we need to walk out of Amber a certain bit, like half a day, a day's travel, before we can shadow work because of the hardness of Amber. Even though, strictly speaking, Amber is a shadow. It is the first shadow. Okay. But, yeah. And one day we may get skilled enough to be able to sh to be able to shadow walk directly from Amber mm. or shadow walk to the prime mm, place. Tricky. Yes. Mm. You'll fuck up that prime pattern and see what happens. Yeah, I'm not going to bleed on it. That's one way to fuck up the campaign. It's like, <laughs> and everybody dies. What? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, right. You guys go from this place to another place, yes? Walk, yes. walk. Yes. No yeah. problem. Uh, the guards uh, say, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. We, I don't understand. Uh-huh. They say, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Is Elred around? Give me an amazing luck roll. Elred's been down with the flu lately. And it's a really real flu. Because nothing. everything's so real here. All yeah, right. Nothing amazing, just a normal luck roll. They, they let you go. Uh, you guys go back out of the castle. You go back down Mount Colvier. Uh, you begin heading through the forest and stuff. And everybody roll spot hidden less than around 50%. I'm not going to bother to look it up. Yep. Guess who spots some fucking guards hidden up there on the road? <laughs> That's right. You do. 
you may be the only one i'm not sure but once again you tell the air guys and you feel this odd feeling of deja vu what do you do you're gonna ambush us and see the paper and drag us back to the and take us back yeah <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can convince him that they, we can keep going i don't need to take us back to the castle we can just stand here and wave at him let's just sneak again and see okay. if we get caught okay <laughs> Everybody get amazingly good sneak rolls. Same thing. Or, or less or so. Oh, yeah. Oh no, I make mine's exact. Actually, mine, I think. No, I you think need like. Was... Well, okay. Let's see. They've got it. They've got fifty percent spot hidden. Yours of stealth is around seventy, so it's twenty up. So no, you need like a seventy or less. So yeah, you got you. You will get spotted. Then they will yeah, come okay. and get you. And then they take you back to the castle. And then eventually the king writes you another note. And <laughs> yes, apparently Glenn was exactly right because you're like, oh, yeah, you I knew I knew it was gonna yeah. I knew it was gonna happen that way as well. I just That's hilarious. <laughs> and then they escort you back to where they picked you up and then they are like, ah. and everybody as you're leaving, give me counter surveillance rolls. Ooh. Oh, I knew it was uh, the guys with the got some roll lag here. Yeah. Roll lag. Ooh, uh -huh. Roll lag. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. You, you. McKay at least notices. I don't know. About you. Oh, there they go. There we and go. Sheila sees everything. Glenn's like, huh? What? Huh? What? I made right. it. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys are definitely uh, being shadowed by a couple of people. Don't know who they are, but. They, they're apparently trying to find out where you came from or something. Well, can we tell? On... Are they the guards again? No, or... no, no, no. no they, they're dressed in like uh, kind of camouflage and stuff, though. I was going to say, when when we get to the wardens, we will tell them that there's some people following, telling us. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> sorry, 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 be free, sorry, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like, we are in grave danger, and they're like, sorry, sorry. we should have uh, gotten a translation booklet or something, <laughs> yeah, one day I'll make it wrong. We are I'm being followed. Our lives are in danger. Fly me free. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys leave the wardens, and we, you've got a couple. Try to pantomime. <laughs> they nod and smile at you. They talk to each other. And sorry. Uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets worse and worse every time you come here. You think. Oh, did you guys ever see Max Bailey, the yeah. Trice Bound Man, Ollie's father? The Who was Trice floating Bound up man. in a anti gravity thing in the Shadow Academy? Yep, that's the one. We've never seen him. We just saw the after effects of people not freeing him. <laughs> <laughs> Jones on the ground with all the shit floating around and okay. all that. Oh, yeah, yes. there's a one of the in in amber. There's paintings on walls and stuff, and one of the paintings looks like him. Uh -huh. oh. Neat. So, I was just trying yes. to find my notes on the people following us from the last time this happened. More mysteries. You're not even sure these are from the same group of people. Yeah, it could be a completely different cult. Uh -huh. But you, they are following you. You're pretty much. Unless you want to do something else, you're kind of sticking to the road or whatever. But if no, you want right. to try to we'll... throw them off and play hide and seek in the woods with them, you can. But if one person fails their stealth roll, no. they're all doomed. If they're just following us, then they'll just be there when we fade out. So you're okay taking them to the well hidden cave? Uh, oh. not if it's well hidden it side, is super no. well hidden almost intentionally super well hidden <laughs> all right we shall before like a day before that then we shall go hiding and 
seeing if we can spot a spring on them or well uh okay or... so it's a possible spring on them so if everybody makes their stealth roll at half you're all in a great position to spring on them if you make it at uh full then you uh manage to elude them at least for now yeah, well, that, that's the main thing i want to do no a oh, while well. or if you're you joshua mckay you can call down them to yeah McKay stuff. decides, fuck it, I'm leading him back to the cave. What's the worst that could possibly go wrong? Yes, I'll I stop you. <laughs> Just Grandpa. because he's carrying a bunch of branches and keeps snapping them in intermittent steps. Just checking. No, nothing there that can help. Chose, uh... <laughs> Just Dana hitting him with a stick. Stop it! Stop it! He's like, we're, we're going this way. That. Oops. Let me get your one by one. Hmm? I try to start leading him around in a little circle as he's looking at his notes. All right. He goes, woo, whippoorwill, whippoorwill, and you're like, and he's like, whippoorwill, whippoorwill. <laughs> I'm a bird. I'm a bird. Look over here. Look over here. Jesus. Look at me. Look at me. Look no, I've blown. I've blown multiple hero points on this. So taking the because you know everybody else can do their spot hidden to see if uh, uh, everybody who's not McKay can roll spot hidden because you guys don't know McKay's leading them to your secret hideout cave thing. I'm. McKay, you have a feeling like Doc is going to grab you and shake you next time he sees you. You don't know why. Mid spot. There'll be a lot of yelling, though. Mm -hmm. Special. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with that result, McKay? Just wanted to check before I continue with the narrative. I've got a skill plus five. Ooh, skill plus five. The, more the hero points disappearing. Yeah. Five. I don't have any rerolls for you. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if the stealth fails, then they just come up on us, right? They don't. Um, no, they will, I'm not they sure what they're going to do. No, they won't come up on this. They'll know about the thing, so they'll be able to set up ambush there for the next time. Somebody who doesn't like us have a trump card comes this way. Well, we weren't. I thought we were sneaking off to the side and waiting for them. And Oh, they're also playing games in the woods. It sucks to ask because these are not super thick woods. You're kind of darting tree to tree and going, you didn't see me? You didn't see me? And McKay's like, whip her well! Whip her well! There you go. There it is. Oh my God! You guys eventually find him. <laughs> how many? How many hero points are you down to, McKay? Fifteen. Nice. Yes. Fuck that overflow. You don't need it. Anyway, right? You guys sneak back Started into the with twenty. Mm -hmm. The people are very frustrated looking for you guys. Glenn, reduce your hand by one, and. You guys uh, now attempt to shadow walk out of here. This is the roll. Who's first up on bat? Um, Does anybody not it's already it's have a check? I do not have a check. Go for yeah. it, Dana. Yeah. See how you go first. And this would just be a learn? If you've never rolled it, yes. I've never. If you yell whippoorwill to her, it may help. Okay. Whippoorwill. Yes. Try you. It is not helping. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Whipper. I made it. I made uh, it. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, this skill is called shadow walking. No you problem. Already have it Lisa down from. Hope so. Uh, do you do you need me to copy paste the skill for yes, you? Yes, please. I have the name, but I didn't get the deets. Mm hmm. Naughty human. Let's see. There it is. Mm -hmm. Copy and paste. Super well. Anyway, no problem. Uh, what what is your destination, please? 
Oh, yeah, about that. Think carefully before <laughs> uh, you telling me where you'd like to go. Uh, Australian Embassy. So your destination is Beastkin Lands. Yeah. Because you can't really specify exactly where. This is the big problem. It could be anywhere on that planet. Yeah, at this level, we don't have very much control unless we crit it. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to go with Beastkin Globe? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Marshmallow Man. Fair enough. We'll figure out which hemisphere you're in in a bit. So, you guys head <laughs> over there and... Uh, no problem. Uh, so, walking backward, fortunately for you guys, uh, it actually works because we're ending the session when you can get back to your own universe. Um, right, you leave the Forest of Arden and you re have re-entered the caves. You go through those, uh, past the uh, Zoom places, and eventually, uh, like after a few days of walking, uh, you get back to the weird tunnels with those strange rings and stuff. And eventually, you get to uh, the entrance of the cave. There's Somebody a crash to plane here. here. <laughs> I've got to add that into my thing. <laughs> Did we want to try and roll it out aside a bit so that we've got space the next time we decide to fly a plane? If everybody can make a successful strength roll in half, then you can relocate the uh, garbage into the forest a bit. I've been waiting for this. Yes, you have. I have, I have big chimps oh, Rolling crap today. McKay has not been uh, waiting for this. I, I have Big Jim Slade as a card here. If you play that, then you can single-handedly move the plane because those two are not even helping. I don't need... Do you guys take a break? Got this. I, I, will, I will attempt to sketch a moving the plane about. All right, go for it. Give me a sketch roll. Dana, you play Big Jim Slade. Dun, 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 dun. I do. I make my sketch roll. Wow, you get a really impressive sketch of her with like the Cessna above her head going, ar, 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 <laughs> No problem. It's really impressive. You've never seen any shit like that before. Apparently, all of her regimented workout and her superpower of veganism has finally paid off. <laughs> wow, what a fucking superhero. Vegan woman. Superhero, super villain. I don't know. Anyway, right. You move the plane stuff off. Uh, we'll make a note that the landing field is clear. Natural, and I suppose with the plane having landed there, the wings may have, before getting ripped off, the wings may have flattened a little bit down. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it, slightly bigger. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, like, uh, sh uh, jagged tree trunks and stuff, I'm sure that's not really an obstacle to a pilot. I mean, the wings should go over it, right? Right? Anyway. Get some lumberjacks out here. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you if you brought out a team of people and shit, you could probably have them clear a, a reasonable runway. Um, but anyway, yeah, I mean, sure, you have problems paying for... Uh, upkeep on a theater that you don't even have to pay rent for, but other than that, does the, is free. does the trump card let us go straight to the castle? Do you want to try? No. <laughs> and, all right. So anyway, then she, why we did that so we didn't have to do all this pain in the ass stuff again? Yeah, you have no idea why you did it. It's weird. Um, you're you've actually never used a trump card in your life, so you're not really sure if it's a thing. Anyway, so then uh, I'm going to need some Arctic survival rolls as you guys are moving uh, off of into like a hard spring, lightning bugs, red strings tied to trees here and there. No. Yep. Super.
he's going to definitely suffer and stuff. You guys are lugging your food and stuff around and eating it and going through it pretty quick. Anybody make it? It's all up to Dana. They make you move the plane by yourself. Now you're going to have to pull their bacon out of the fire by cooking. Ooh. Maybe. What, what was it again? I'm sorry. Arctic survival. Uh, I'm sure that you've got that as an occupational skill. No. It's a hobby of mine. No, I don't. I have... Um, Excuse me. I, I have not done Arctic. Great. Do you have a different survival of 44 or better? I do. All right. Well, you're, you're, uh, you're, I mean, with the tents and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You, you go ahead and take a check in whichever other thing you're doing. Uh, you, you know, survival basics though. And so you're dealing with all that shit. Uh, but you're thinking that your food may run out possibly before you get to the wall of fire. Because so the next one thought we only had to walk for two days per zone you're going through one two three four five zones so about 10 days over a week all right i thought the snow the arctic stuff was on the other side of the flame wall uh you've got uh cold tundra on one side and uh cowboy arctic western on the other side okay no but the the right now you guys are getting ready to start going into the cold tundra thing mm -hmm. where they have the everything's bright and glowing and that glowing blue wolf pack is hanging out near there and you're kind of worried about them because mm -hmm. if they catch wh whiff of you then they may come after you everybody stares at each other <laughs> Hmm. Sounds like my no spell, no smell, spell, smell, smell, smell. That would probably be a big help. Then, then you can do it as long as they don't see you. The question will be: Will the spell work? No. It will work as well as my ring. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> give me a willpower times one roll to pull off the magic spell in the in when you get to that zone. No. Cool. Is that a fumble? It might be a fumble. Nice. Her head explodes. You guys are covered in brains and viscera. <laughs> Let me check the fumble back real quick here. Poopy pants. You shit yourself. Not just a little. <laughs> We're talking. It is slowing down. Other than this horrible embarrassment, nothing else bad happens from this fumble. Go change your pants. Wow. <laughs> she goes, yeah. mm. <laughs> I, think the, I think the no smell spell backfired. <laughs> Extra smell. I guess they won't smell it as food. <laughs> no, no, actually, it might, it might work in our favor. Probably. Unless it's fecal biliac, yeah. Right. Uh, it feels okay. so much warmer now. That's true. <laughs> oh, okay. so, yeah. Everybody at a negative 10% to your stealth. Good luck. If one person misses it, they smell the shit and come eat you guys. Oh, I could try no smell if we want. That couldn't hurt. Whether the wolves get you or not. Oh, at last, Pete makes a stealth roll. Now he can do a stealth. Now he's getting closer to home. That's... He squishes along with you. Not willpower time is one. I can just keep trying willpower. Yeah, until you either fumble or succeed. Until your head explodes or you make it. Mm -hmm. Willpower, no. Willpower, no. Willpower, no. Willpower made it. Cool. Now go for the spell. Give me a fumble. And you want to get a ticking willpower? Yes. Yeah. No smell. No. <laughs> you can go through all that again if you want. One magic point gone. One. Ah, ah, ah. Willpower. Willpower. Made it. No smell. No. One magic point. Are you walking along as you do? So you've got a couple of days of this shit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or you, you just do your stealth roll negative 10. Either way, because I think that's probably a better shot. I mean, look, Holmes is sneaky. Willpower. Willpower, 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 willpower. Ah, no smile. <laughs> Did it work? Willpower. <laughs> Willpower, no whammies. Willpower. You, you made it there. Strange present moon. That's what I was looking for. Four magic points total. Willpower. Oh, wait. That was what was that 95 there? That was a willpower. Here we go on the bubble. Boom goes his head. Massive strain. Roll D10 hit points and separate D10 magic points. <laughs> but you uh, didn't shit yourself. You've got your pride. Hit points. Magic hmm. points. Hmm. All right. Rolling stealth over here. <laughs> Negative 10. <laughs> is that real or stun? Uh, it's real. It felt like uh, somebody rearranging your electrons. You didn't like it. Okay. I'll roll at minus 10. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Done with that shit. <laughs> hey. He goes, and you hear an answering. <laughs> I'm going I've got a five. Made it. Okay. So aside from Glenn howling and getting their attention, uh, they they start coming over the hill. There appear to be nine of them. You two made it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hell hero. Uh, has a card. I really like the idea of you standing there howling, going, we're blending, guys. We're blending. Camouflage. <laughs> Your point. Here's the drain. These are not ter I'm not asking for a lot of difficult rolls here. Just a stealth a little under normal. A little hard. There you go. Made it. Yay! He stops howling. You guys sneak through and eventually get to a big wall of fire and it burns, burns, burns. Ring of fire. The ring of fire. <laughs> so the only time I've experienced a ring of fire is after some really bad Laotian food. Anyway, right, you guys go through that without issue. The fire burns on you for a while, and eventually uh, parts of it stop burning, and others seem to maybe become transparent, so you can't see them anymore, but you're not sure. It does, as I was earlier said, appear to be about a meter wide. Everybody, as you're walking through it, since you're really taking your time walking through it as opposed to in some sort of fucking uh, combat dive going through it in the <laughs> aircraft, everybody can do a spot hidden roll in half. If you make that, then you can try a pattern lore roll. Good luck. We're all counting nope. on you. Mm -mm. No. Everything's groovy. You guys pass through the ring of fire. There's nothing to see here, you say to each other. And you crunch back. Your pants are crunchy now, by the way, just so you're aware. <laughs> and you guys go through some really brutal weather uh, for the next couple of days. Uh, who wants to make Arctic? Actually, pick somebody to be the head of Arctic survival. Everybody else can roll to support them. I believe Glenn will be head of Arctic survival. Also, yes. since uh, I knew all right, everybody rolled the sport, Glenn. Well, and you were saying I could use my other survival, though. Uh, you could try that at half to support, sure. You so don't know any specifics on our actually, obvious. or you can try Arctic uh, full. McKay you gives you all the wrong tips, putting you at negative 10. He laughs in your face. We're all gonna die, <laughs> he says. <laughs> I'm going to help kill us, he says. <laughs> I'm going to make well, you more. Arctic survivalist are you, Glenn? It's a hobby. Hmm. Cool. Hey, let's see oh. if Dana stays veg vegan so, when we have to eat Glenn's legs. Uh -huh. We'd be in the Arctic part of Beastkin? Uh, you no. don't know where the fuck you are. 
actually McKay knows where you are, but you don't know where you are. So you'll have to ask McKay where you are. Where the fuck are we? Well, when we first pass through the Wall of Fire, we get to winter wonderland of the women's wild west frontier canada oh yes yes that makes that's why we're that's why we're waist deep in snow mm -hmm. you're lucky you came during the high summer mm. <laughs> i've so. never yeah so i don't i don't know if the seasons work here because it always seems to be snowing it always seems to be weight waist deep mm -hmm. so it's it just be a fucking set. brutal Wow. Okay, so I'm at minus 10. Uh huh. Yeah. Here, let me try to support. Ooh, here we Where go. You roll your own. If you, can get a, if you can get a crit to support him, then. Nope. No. She puts in an additional <laughs> negative 10 and she says, We're all going to die. You hear me? So you got one on each side of you grabbing onto your arm. Do you want to eat. Do you, so, you want to eat his left leg or right leg, Dana? <laughs> Next. If they eat your legs, I'll give them each a refill. <laughs> if they chop off your legs and eat them, I'll give them each a refill. And I'll let you guys somehow survive, and they're going to call you stubby. Until they grow back. Well, yes, but One it'd day. still be hilarious. And I'll give them sand loss for cannibalism. But So you're negative 20 because they obviously are trying to kill everybody. <laughs> they're like, we're all going to go and die together. It's a suicide pact. Fail. Like, can't believe you didn't make that roll with all those people helping you. <laughs> well, at least I feel glad that our negatives didn't make any difference in this instance. Hmm. Now, now that we're out of amber, can't we just log out? <laughs> <laughs> well, you just got to survive this and you're okay. No, so uh, who's usually doing we can just, direct? Hmm? Usually we can just stop at a dangerous place and then we wake up somewhere else. <laughs> yes, it's so dangerous if you lay down and sleep here, you're not going to wake up. Although both of them are saying we should burrow into the snow and strip naked because it will be too fine. <laughs> now, you're pretty much, a, you're going up against death. Everybody take a D6 hit points of damage. Uh, Glenn, you can try two healing rolls from your earlier what the fuck happened to me if you want for your willpower thing. And then everybody take your D8, and then you can D6 try that. D6 or D8. Oh, sorry. D, go for D6. I'm feeling nice. If, if I okay. hero the survival, does it get mm -hmm. rid of minus 20? Uh, if you hero it and say, I do not accept anybody's help, then yes. I was just going to put you into a spiral until you either made it or everybody died. Because this zone is set up so that everybody can literally die plus it's really confusing as to where shit is uh reason you're only taking d6 is you're in high tech shit uh, but they keep suggesting naked will survive in the cold better there's yeah. something about natural body heat and amino acids i'm gonna roll on my own all right <laughs> you're like I die. and then you fail <laughs> so everybody roll your d6 of damage and who is doing the navigation thing here? Or direction sense, either one. I can do navigation. Do compasses work here? Uh, no. No, it's almost like this whole thing has been set up to fucking kill people. Okay. Well, I still have navigation lamps, it's a, though. It's a sun, right? You can't even see the sun because of all the thick clouds and shit. But McKay's like, on, on. So at least you're not going to uh, die from that. You may die from, like, your amazingly bad survival. So so is it is the damage half and half, or is it all real? Oh, it's all real. Your your body is literally freezing to death. Yeah, no worries. Uh, if you take over, uh, if you take like 70% of your hit points doing this, then you get to lose some fingers and toes. It'll be awesome. So, all right. Now, next, land, next. Uh, would you like to have their help in uh, your Arctic survival for round two? Glenn? All right. So, because we're for sleeping at night roll. in tents and sleeping that's, bags that's right. tents and sleeping bags, do we get willpower rolls? Yes. Yeah. We're sleeping. We can log out. 
<laughs> if only it weren't just like that. It's worked in other places. Sometimes. Uh, we'll buy two. Oh, so so. I get four hit points back. Yes. It's almost like this whole area is set up to kill people. Like Glenn, who's taken a bunch of damage from various shit and is now doomed to die. However, I know it's still a will buy one to cast magic here, isn't it? Almost like the whole world's out to get you. Glenn, do you need healing? I have some. Tell them to strip naked and play in the snow. I have some first aid knowledge. I am injured. Tell them you can use crystals and aromatherapy on him. <laughs> if she gets if she gets high enough, she's going Ooh. for the aromatherapy. I have aromatherapy. I have aroma. Here's a attempted helping you heal. I got it. Ooh, D3. All right. She sticks your feet into her armpits. It is super painful for you after a while but it keeps your toes from literally falling off. This so is something that you really have to do in Arctic Survival. I've taken courses on it and did not like it. Oh, no. wow. Yeah. Everything goes in the armpits of the grind. Believe me, armpits are better than your grind. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, no problem. Uh, right. Next day, Arctic Survival role plays. And another navigation because you dig your way out of the tent. You look, no sun. It's kind of brighter though, so you're like looking around, and it's all up to Pete because otherwise, this is this place seems set up to almost wander in circles and die. That navigation as well. Why are you trying to catch things, McKay? Because I was using telekinetic. I was using my matrix power to pull <laughs> snow to me. Got it. Uh, would you rather follow her her where where you're going or his where you're going? You guys need to pick one because otherwise you'll both point in different directions. I I think that you're better at it, Josh. But okay. I've got no idea how. Yeah, you can try so to support you, him if you want. You can yeah, if you want to help me. <laughs> I don't know. That didn't go so great the other day. <laughs> But that was Glenn. You know how Glenn is. Hey, we we both knew what we were about. Glenn huh? did not. I think. I think. Right. I mean, it was pretty obvious. I mean, look how bad <laughs> Glenn made the situation. Yeah. If he had to listen to us, things would have been a lot better. All right, I'll try to support navigation land. Made it. Ooh. Nice. It's all Glenn. Glenn, are you supporting? Sure. Thank you so much. Ooh. I support. Yay. Is that a crit? No. Yay. This he's good at keeping you alive. Not so much. All right. Ooh. So since he made his. Support, I would have filed my wrong. Hmm. Since he made his land. Nav... Since they made their land navigation, you only need one more Arctic survival roll because you're not going in circles. Yeah. Nope. All right. Everybody like, taking their D6. I was going to do it this time, Glad. <laughs> <laughs> you just started marching off there into the wilderness. Mm -hmm. He's like, we can eat snow in order to heat up. <laughs> You're like, okay. <laughs> right. McKay takes you to an old mine entrance. Oh, wait. No, you're sorry. She was shadow walking you guys. You guys yes. pass out of this zone. And all right, so roll a high low. Low, you're in the correct hemisphere, high, you're not. Okay, you want low, <laughs> right? So you're in China, <laughs> and everybody's stuff. Actually, China doesn't exist Mandarin. in this world, but it's equivalent to China, but yeah. Yeah. Does anybody speak Mandarin? Yes. I do. Excellent. Give me Mandarin rolls. Well, fellas, do we want to no. try that one again? Or maybe I'll try one more go of it. <laughs> What's wrong with China? Good long sleep. It will mm -hmm. depend on how they perceive humans. I'm going to give it one more try. To not be 
it's so far off. All right. All you right, guys. there you go. Now it's low. All right. Uh, right, you're in the correct hemisphere. Eventually, uh, oh, shit. Okay, uh, roll high, low. Low, you're in the northern hemisphere. High, you're in the southern. Pete knows what's in the southern. You want northern. Oh, yeah, another high, low? Uh-huh, mm -hmm. you want you low again. Yeah. All right. There we ah, go. Perfect. Okay. No, sorry. Yes. You did tell That's close know. enough. You don't arrive in the glowing uh, red belly glands. Thank goodness. Thanks, Pete. And mm -hmm. yeah. don't want to be a slave and then killed and inhabited by a ghost or whatever the hell they are. Mm -hmm. Pete knows what's waiting for you there. So, yeah, miraculously, she takes you right to where you're wanting to go. You guys pull up the Australian embassy and she's like, what? So, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty fucking lucky. Um, yeah. You guys wander in and uh, you say hi to the elf kids on the way to the bed. Uh, they try first aid on you, but eventually sleep uh, kicks in. You guys uh, uh, end off the adventure. 